So in today's video, we're gonna check out the ninth fastest growing master plan community in the entire United States, Silverleaf. And in particular, we're gonna take a look at Silver Landing within the community of Silverleaf. Let's check it out. So just to give you a little overview on what Silverleaf actually is. It is a master plan community and one of the only master plan communities in Northern St. Johns County without any CDD. So you just only have an HOA in this master plan community. It's in total going to be 11,000 acres that they purchase here to build this community, 60, a little over 16,000 homes, and they're gonna be ending up putting 2.9 million square feet of commercial mixed use space within the master plan community of Silverleaf. On top of that, they also have about 4,600 acres of conservation and preservation land. One of the great things about Silverleaf is that they have a variety of builders to choose from. If you wanted to go over a million dollars, you could do that with this builder here, Mastercraft. And if you wanted to stay under $750,000, you could go with the Lennar home within this community. Or if maybe if you want to do a town home, that is also an option within the Silverleaf community here. But for today's video, we're going to check out Silver Landing, which is a neighborhood within the master plan community of Silverleaf. Okay, so just to give you a little geographic overview, we're within the northwest part of St. Johns County. We're west of I-95. The major roads that you need to know about are gonna be State Road 210 and State Road 16. That's gonna be the east and west roads going, uh, that's gonna really get you to Silverleaf. And then you have Silverleaf Parkway and St. Johns Parkway, which runs through Silverleaf as well. So how far are you away from things? If you're looking to get to the airport, that's probably gonna be about a 45 minute ride from this location, just straight up I-95. If you wanna to go to the beach, you can take State Road 16 or 210. It's probably gonna be about a 40 minute ride to the beach from this location. And then if you need to go to the hospital, uh, the closest hospital is gonna be Baptist South. Um, they are building a hospital and a, a Wolfson Children Hospital within Silverleaf here, but that won't be completed for some years yet. But if you're looking to go to the hospital, Baptist is about a 15 minute ride from this location. So as I mentioned, there's 2.9 million square feet of commercial space planned for Silverleaf. So they still have a lot of building to do, but that doesn't mean that you're in the middle of nowhere and you don't have access to like shopping and restaurants. You have really two different options. On, on the north side, you have Durban Pavilion. You have uh, all your grocery shopping and restaurants up there. And then on the south side, you also have Mirabella, which has you know two Publixes on the intersection of 16 and International Gulf Parkway because of how many people have moved in this community and how many people currently live here. One really cool thing that is coming to Silverleaf here is going to be the town center. It's going to be a, a mixed use of commercial space and also apartments. And I think it's going to replicate what we see in Jacksonville, the St. John's town center in Jacksonville. I think they're going to have their own little thing going on here within the master plan community of Silverleaf, which will be really cool. So they have several different builders within Silver Landing. They have Lennar, they have Ashley Homes, they have Riverside Homes. But for today's videos, we're going to check out Mastercraft, which is the number one builder four years in a row in the state of Florida. And I, I do also have an interview with Chris Shee. You can check that up below. He's a great guy. And he also happens to be one of the best builders in North, Northeastern Florida and Florida in general.
So let's get into some of the details of Mastercraft and what they offer here at Silver Landing. Now, just speaking with the site rep here, on average in 2023, their home sold for about $850,000. But what I have here on this sheet is their quick move-in list. And typically with every builder, their quick move-in lists are the homes that they're offering the best incentives on, right? So the homes that I'm looking at here range from $586,000 all the way to a million dollars. But if I'm taking an average here, it looks like that it's around $650,000 to get a new construction Mastercraft home here within Silver Landing. As of right now, for their 60 foot lots within Silver Landing, they're offering a gourmet kitchen, 10 foot ceilings on the first floor, eight foot interior doors, six foot windows, and a third car garage, uh, which is not typical for many of the new construction builds here in our area. They're also offering half off home site premium. So if a home, a home site is listed at $50,000, they're giving it to you for $25,000. So just right off the bat, they're throwing you some good incentives. On top of all of that, they're also applying up to 2% of your loan amount towards your closing costs, rate buy down, whatever you'd like to use that for. And they also didn't leave the cash buyers out. They wanna make sure that you guys feel like you get a deal as well. So instead of them taking out a loan to build your property, they're willing to give you a 4% discount if you use cash to purchase a home here within Silver Landing. So if you're looking for a deal on a 70 foot lot, Mastercraft actually owns their own pool company. And one of the things they're doing on their 70 foot lots is they're throwing in a free pool or $60,000 in flex cash. So if you want a pool, great. They'll put a pool in for you and they'll have their own company do it. Or they'll give you $60,000 to do whatever type of upgrades you wanna do within your home. They also are adding that 2% loan amount towards your closing costs. So if you're, you're buying a 70 foot lot, you're putting a big home on it and you'll say your loan amount $700,000, they're gonna add up to $14,000 to your closing costs, rate buy down and prepaids. So just to quickly cover pricing for Silver Landing and Mastercraft, uh, it's gonna be in the high 500s. Like I said, they have a quick moving home for 586 right now. That's the one that's probably gonna get the most incentives because they wanna get that out of their inventory. But you do also have homes that go over a million dollars within this community as well. So there is a good variation in pricing and something that fits really everyone's lifestyle, right? But how much does it cost for you to live here on the monthly? We have some really great amenities that's a part of Silverleaf here, but it's way different than every other community that pretty much is being built right now in terms of that they don't have a CDD, which is a community development district. This is an only HOA community. And within this area here, your HOA is roughly gonna be $123 a month. There is a gated section called Courtney Oaks, which is gonna be 1,700 for the year. So not too much more expensive if you want that gated feature. So what do you get for your 120 bucks a month? Well, within Silverleaf, you have over 4,000 acres of conservation land, but on top of that, the amenities, you have a family pool, you have a tot lot, you also have pickleball, tennis courts, you have a dog park. They also have miles of bike trails and walking trails and golf cart trails if you wanna ride on your golf cart. So I wanted to cover some of the future developments that are happening within the community of Silverleaf. And I, I needed my notes because there's actually so much going on within this community that you guys need to know about. I wanted to make sure I covered everything. So we'll talk about roads first. We're gonna have some massive roads coming through this community. It's a huge community with 16,000 homes. So we definitely need more infrastructure but they're gonna have the First Coast Expressway running right through the middle of Silverleaf, going east and west, connecting 95 to I-10 north of Jacksonville. So this is gonna be a workaround so that if you are trying to get somewhere on the west coast, if you're not looking to drive into Center City, Jacksonville in order, in order to get onto I-10, this is just gonna be a little loop connecting I-10 on the west side and 95 on the south side of Jacksonville. They are also building County Road 2209, which is gonna extend from St. John's Parkway over to International Golf Parkway. If you're familiar with Tacoy Creek High School, it's gonna cut right by there, and it's gonna, be, it's gonna be a lot easier for you to get your kids to the high school, and it's also gonna be a lot easier to get to 95 with uh, St. John's Parkway running into County Road 2209. That's gonna be a four mile stretch of road. It's gonna take about two years to complete, and it's gonna cost roughly around $32 million. And earlier, we also talked about hospitals in the area. Now, of course, you have Baptist South, which is off of I-95 and 210, but within the community of Silverleaf, they're gonna be building a Wolfson's Children's Hospital and a Baptist Medical Center right next to each other. And it's probably gonna be very similar to the setup that they have in Jacksonville. So as of right now, they have four amenity centers planned for Silverleaf and they have one that's completed already. And they have one that's in the works with two others to come, making a four total for the entire community of Silverleaf. 
As I mentioned before, there's going to be 2.9 million square feet of commercial mixed use space within the community of Silverleaf. But as of right now, the only commercial space that is open is Silverleaf Commons, which is going to have a fitness center. It's going to have a coffee shop and it's also got a artesian butcher in there as well as of now. And the last thing, and this is something that we're seeing amongst many of the master plan communities within the northern part of St. Johns County, is that they're going to be adding a school. They're actually adding two schools within the community of Silverleaf, but the one that's coming the soonest is going to be kindergarten through eighth grade. It's going to serve around 1,500 students, and it sits on 28 acres of land in the southern part of Silverleaf. All right, so we just checked out Riverside Homes. Go ahead and check out the other builder here, Ashley Homes. All right, so we wanted to stop for some lunch. So we're over here at Moan's Wood-Fired Kitchen. Uh, this is also the shops of Mirabella. So there's you know a dental place over here, an F45, frozen custard, Domino's Pizza, and there's also a Publix over here. So pretty much all your shopping, anything else that you might need, like a pet groomer or a, a dentist office, is gonna be here south of Silverleaf. Let's go check it out. All right guys, just got some really good food. Justin got some pizza, my wife got a salad, and uh, I got a, like a chicken pesto sandwich was really good. But if you got some insight, a little bit of knowledge into living into Silver Leaf and Silver Landing, please give me that solid and tap that subscribe button below, like the video and comment if you have any additional questions about living here in Northeastern Florida in Silver Leaf or any other master plan community within St. Johns County. Um, if you are looking to buy, sell, or invest in Northeastern Florida, make sure you reach out to me and my team. We'd love to help. See ya.